Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a large group of people living in a very controlled environment, because most of the Earth's area has been rendered uninhabitable, as it is too contaminated to support life, with the exception of a pathogen-free island. The life these people live is not fun, as this dystopian community is governed by a strict set of rules. These people live on a proper diet, and they have to do certain exercises on a daily basis, in order to keep themselves healthy. Everyone there wants to go to a paradise island that is not contaminated. However, the people are told that the only people who manage to win the lottery every week are allowed to live on that island. A man named Lincoln begins having dreams that he knows are not from his own experiences, he dreams of going to the island on a boat. The man often has nightmares, and wakes in the middle of the night, being confused about where he is, and who he is. As he goes out of the room, we see him meeting and greeting other people, and all of them are wearing the same clothes. There they find out a man named Starkweather 2 Delta has gotten lucky, as he has been picked up by the lottery. The man who has been living a tough life in this place, is excited to learn that he is going to be breathing fresh air soon, and he is going to be swimming in the ocean. One of the men living there gets extremely frustrated, and starts to hit the screen, as he shouts that it has been 7 years since he has been living there, and he has still not won the lottery. His name is Gondu 3 Echo. Lincoln then goes to the cafeteria, and is told by the man in there that he is not allowed to have bacon, because of the nutrition flag. Lincoln is disappointed, and as he is about to go back to his table, he is approached by a beautiful girl named Jordan 2 Delta, who sneaks up on him from behind, and tells him to watch and learn. The girl then talks the server into giving her the bacon, despite the fact that it has been flagged, she then drops the bacon in Lincoln's lot A, and we learn that she is his best friend. As they start talking, guards arrive and tell them to take a hike. Lincoln then goes to see the doctor. Dr. Merrick, a scientist who runs the compound, is concerned, and places probes in Lincoln's body to monitor his cerebral activity. During their meeting, Lincoln tells the doctor about the boat that he dreams of, and goes on to sketch the boat. As he talks, he goes on to express that he hates the life he has in there, he hates the food, and the clothes, and he hates the fact that people here do not wish for anything more than going to that island, as he believes that his life should have weighed more than an island. The doctor on the other hand does not like his ungrateful behavior, and goes on to point out that he should be thankful for being one of the people who survived the contamination, and is going to be contributing to the repopulation of the earth. Lincoln then asks the doctor if he wants to go to the island, but the doctor tells him that he could not go there even if he wanted, because he is needed at the place where he currently is. In the meantime, Lincoln finishes drawing the sketch, and we see that he has written the Renowatio in the drawing. Upon being asked by the doctor, Lincoln tells him that he does not know its meaning, but he did see the word in his dream. Lincoln then goes to do his job, and complains that he is sick of this job. One of his co-workers Jones 3 Echo points out, they are doing important work by feeding the nutrient lines to keep the residents healthy. Gondu in the meantime arrives, and tells them about a new survivor, and Jones goes on to wonder how these people keep finding survivors every other day. We then see that a pregnant woman collapses in the compound, and it becomes chaotic there. The woman named Lima 1 Alpha quickly realizes that she is in labor. The woman now has a smile on her face, because she knows when she has the baby, they are going to go to the island. Lincoln on the other hand reports that his workstation has broken down. He then manages to get his hands on the key to Sector 6, where he runs into a technician named James McCord. He tells the man that his computer is now working, but James right away understands that he is just making it up, and he is there just to see him. They start talking, and as they hang out, James is summoned to product extraction. When James leaves, Lincoln catches a bug, and puts it in a matchbox that has been labeled Ace of Space. James goes to the product extraction, where a man is working in a lab, we see a pod in there, and it contains a human body. The man in the lab then opens the tab, and removes the tubes attached to the man. As the man tries to breathe, the lab worker takes something out of his mouth, and he starts breathing, another man walks into the lab, and asks about the condition of the man being experimented upon. The lab worker tells him that this man is a fine product. They put a tag on his wrist, and make him wear a bracelet as well. We then see more pods containing human bodies. That night, Lincoln sees Jordan, and tells her about a bug he found. He tells her, he is unable to digest the fact how the bug survived the contamination, and goes on to add that he does not have a good feeling about this. When Jordan leaves, Lincoln meets Gondu and Jones, who tell him that the lottery is getting started. The residents gather in front of the screens, hoping for the best, as they look at the screen. In a few seconds, it is announced that Jordan 2 Delta has won the lottery. Jordan is all over the place for winning the lottery, and making her way to the island, but Lincoln is not happy about the fact that his best friend is leaving, and he has no idea when he will get to see her. 
At night, Lincoln is extremely restless, and he is unable to sleep. He takes the bug, and goes to Sector 6, where he caught it in the first place. Lincoln releases the bug, but then goes on to follow it, he is led to a restricted area by the bug. He climbs up, and gets into a room to change his outfit. He wears a lab coat in order to avoid being noticed, he walks freely in the area, and tries to see and understand what is going on in there. He comes to a room, and through the window, he sees Lima 1 Alpha giving birth. As she is done giving birth, Lima is given an injection, she starts to shake violently, and the nurses hold her down, until her body is cold, and her face is covered. Lincoln is shocked to his core, as he sees an innocent woman being murdered like that. A nurse then gives the baby to a woman that looks exactly like Lima. On the other hand, Starkweather's liver is about to be removed in another lab. The man however wakes up, and runs out of the room. He runs in the hallway, and screams for his life, when he is caught by the guards out there. Lincoln sees the whole thing, and goes back to Sector 6. The doctor on the other hand goes to the guards room, who are watching the video of Starkweather, and having fun, when the doctor tells them to play the video again, as he thinks someone is hiding behind a tray right there. Lincoln then right away goes to the women's quarters, where he looks for Jordan. He finally finds Jordan, and tells her everything he witnessed in there, Jordan and Lincoln then start to run away from the guards. They go to Sector 6, and go to another secret room, where they see hundreds of people lying on gurneys, while watching a video feed. They then get to see a big hologram of mountains in the ocean. Lincoln and Jordan then escape the facility, and emerge in the desert. Dr. Merrick then hires Burkina mercenary and former Gigan operative, Albert Laurent to find both Lincoln and Jordan, and return them to the compound. They run around in the desert, and come across a snake, they are now confirmed that there is no contamination. The two then find James, and make him tell them the truth. He explains that all the facility residents are clones of wealthy sponsors, and are kept ignorant about the real world, and conditioned to never question their environment or history. James provides the name of Lincoln's sponsor, automobile designer Tom Lincoln, in Los Angeles, and helps them to the Yucca Maglev station, where they board an Amtrak train to LA, before mercenaries kill him. In New York City, Jordan's sponsor, supermodel Sarah Jordan is comatose following a car crash, and requires transplants from Jordan to survive. Lincoln also meets Tom, who gives him some explanation about the cloning institute, causing Lincoln to realize that he has gained Tom's memories. Tom seemingly agrees to help Lincoln and Jordan reveal Dr. Merrick's crimes to the public, but secretly betrays them to Merrick and Laron, as he desperately needs Lincoln's liver to survive his cirrhosis. Tricking Lincoln into leaving with him, Tom brings him to an ambush, that results in a car chase through suburban LA, and ends with Lincoln tricking Laron into believing Tom is the clone, and he kills him, allowing him to assume Tom's identity. Returning to Tom's home, Lincoln and Jordan give in to their romantic urges, and have sex. Dr. Merrick surmises, that a cloning defect was responsible for Lincoln's memories and behavior, resulting in him and every future clone generation questioning their environment, and even tapping into their sponsor's memories. To prevent this, he decides to eliminate the four latest generations of clones. Lincoln and Jordan, however, plan to liberate the other clones. Posing as Tom, Lincoln returns to the compound, and when he is about to get scanned by a man named Whitman in there, he knocks him, and goes on to destroy the holographic projectors that conceal the outside world. Jordan allows herself to be caught to assist Lincoln's plan. Laron, who has moral qualms about the clone's treatment, after witnessing their fight for survival, and learning that Sarah Jordan may not survive even with the organ transplants, helps Jordan. Lincoln and Merrick on the other hand get into a fight. When Merrick tries to kill, he even manages to get an upper hand when he tries to strangle Lincoln but Lincoln gets his hands on a gun, and shoots him right away. The clones on the other hand are freed, seeing the outside world for the first time. As Laron seemingly gives up his mercenary life, Lincoln and Jordan sail away in one of Tom's boats together, toward an island, fulfilling their dream of one day going to such a place. Laron looks at everyone, and smiles as the couple kisses. The End Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.